Oh, your hair is so long. Does that feel like it's going to stay in okay, that one? Yep. Good morning. It is about, I haven't got my watch on, but I think it's about, it's just coming up for 11 o'clock in the morning. I've had a really busy morning today. It's Thursday, so I'm not working. I've been running around parceling up some orders and very excitingly, I've just got back from the shops where I had to go and pick up um, part of Dan's birthday present because it's his birthday later this month to discover that I have had an exciting delivery, which I will show you in a minute. It is incredibly windy today. It was windy yesterday and it was a really windy overnight. And then at about quarter to six this morning, oh my goodness, it sounded like the house was gonna blow away. And I've consulted my trusty almanac. Um, you've seen me mention this before. I get this every year. This is the third year that I've bought this almanac. Um, and I'll pop a link to it un underneath for you. Am I focusing okay? I hope so. Maybe it's just my eyes that are out of focus. And it tells me, it says uh, that it is the month of the winds and that March is blustery and blowy, the cheery daffodils are battered and the tree branches with their new buds are being swished to and fro. This is because March is one of the transition months with days growing longer and the sun higher in the sky, we are getting more sunlight, which means that pockets of air are being warmed, but there are also still pockets of cold air. Cool air produces high pressure areas and warm air creates low pressure areas. The warm air in a low pressure area rises and as it does so, the cooler air from a high pressure area rushes in to replace it, creating wind. And it says, in effect, wind is just nature's attempt to even everything out and create an equilibrium. So I thought that was really good. I read that last night just before I went to bed. So when I went to bed, sort of listening to the howling wind outside and coming down the chimney, um, I could think about nature doing its thing. Everything is as it should be, which was really nice. This is why I like the almanac so much. I learned such a lot from it. Um, so I've been running around all morning getting stuff done and now I'm going to sit down for a bit. Dan and I are going to try and dismantle another wardrobe later today but he's in a meeting till about midday so we won't do it till then. So I'm going to do a bit more crocheting um, on Lilia's birthday little amigurumi jester that I'm making her and just sit and have something to drink and just try to relax. I have a tendency when I've got time away from the kids now they're back at school to try and fill that time with as much stuff get stuff done as possible especially as at the moment obviously there is a lot of stuff to get done because we're dismantling the entire bedroom and so on uh, but I'm going to try and avoid that and sit down and take a little bit of time today and go against all my instincts <laughs> and I'm, I want to show you what just arrived in the post as well it is my latest pin order let's get one out to show you hold on so I am I'd ordered a new type of pin they are smooth, so they're not raised like the original one. Don't know if you can see, because they have an epoxy coating over the top of them, which kind of smooths them out and changes the look of them. I still sell my other version as well, so there's both options available in the shop. Well, not yet, because at the moment there's only the the raised version without the epoxy coating, because I'd sold out of these ones because they were really, really popular. So I've ordered a big batch. I've ordered, I think, three or 400 of these. So there's going to be tons of them in stock. Uh, but first I need to get them all on to, I put them on backing cards by hand and they've got information on the back and, I, you know, I present them nicely. So I'm going to get a big batch of those done. Hopefully Phoebe will help me. And then I should be able to get these listed maybe tomorrow or Saturday. So keep an eye out if you're interested or if you're one of the people that have been waiting, eagerly waiting for one of our, state of my nails, I need to repaint them. If you've been eagerly awaiting one of these smooth pins. I'm so excited to go through them. I do have to go through them as well because there'll always be some that aren't perfect. So I have to go through all three or 400 of them and quality check each one. <laughs> so, but it's fun. I don't mind. You say let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown Well I don't know about that I've done something I very rarely do A bit of ironing I very rarely do ironing And when there is ironing to be done it's usually Dan that does it 
Uh, Dan's just on a on an easy lunch break, so we're going to do a bit of dismantling of the corner wardrobe here. Um, I haven't filmed much today, just because I've just been trying to reduce the overwhelm a little bit. So today's vlog will probably be a little bit shorter. The last two vlogs seem to have taken me forever to edit. So I think I'm just going to give myself a bit of a break. I'm going to be in the museum tomorrow where I work for the first time since November. No, not even, no, December. The beginning of December was the last time I was there for a staff meeting. Um, so it'd be really uh, exciting to get out of the house, but I want to make sure I am well rested and ready. Well, I'm not that well rested. I'm about to dismantle a wardrobe. Dan's just getting a step ladder quickly so we can get to the top of the wardrobe. And a few people had asked how I got on with the creams I showed. I think it was right back in January I showed these. I bought some foot care creams because I was trying to look after my feet because I was diagnosed with Reynolds syndrome. My poor feet. So I was trying to be extra nice to them. And I got this CCS Swedish foot care cream, which I've been using every night. I've just got these in Boots, the chemist here in the UK. And I've really, really liked this. It's done. It's been brilliant for dry skin and stuff like that. And my feet are very, very soft. And then if I've just got out the bath, um, or if it's a bit earlier in the evening, like when we get in to have a read with Phoebe before she goes to bed, I use the Boots Own Mint Lavender and Marshmallow Foot Cream. And that's been lovely as well. The only thing is, because it's quite... Focus. There we go. Because it's quite highly scented and it's I mean it's a nice smell it smells really lovely I don't like putting it on last thing at night I'm quite sensitive to smells and things and I everything I use at night apart from my face cream which has got essential oils in it um, is completely unscented so um, I think this would bother me too much at night but I do use it earlier on and again it's absolutely lovely it feels very luxurious especially after a bath and it's really lovely and moisturizing so I really like that as well and I've also been using the Ordinary Caffeine Solution, this one, hold it up so you can see with the one I, um, uh, see all the details. So this is designed for under the eyes to help reduce dark circles, which I have naturally, it's genetics. So I'm probably kidding myself a bit to think that a cream is going to help uh, battle genetics. But it's really, really lovely. I've been using it every evening. It's really easy to put on and i do i like it i feel like it has made a slight difference even if that might just be my imagination so i i've got on really well with all of those lotions and potions thanks for asking right dan's getting a set ladder so i'm going to get him to help me get down on top of one of our wardrobes I've, well i'll show you we'll get it down and i'll show you i don't know about that but can you help me first to get these boxes down well, I don't know about that. So these are um, scales, scientific scales, I think you would call them, I'm not sure. They were my dad's and I'm going to tell you a bit more about them but I need to get them out of the way of the bedroom because we're about to do a lot of bashing and crashing and I don't want anything to happen to them. But I just wanted to show you before I move them. <laughs> Look at that, they have been on top of the wardrobe since we moved in and I've never been moved. So we've got all that dust. <laughs> and cobwebs they look proper spooky spider don't say that so uh i'm gonna give them a hoover and get them out of the way okay so these are what are known as uh beam balance scales uh in the 1970s my dad did some teaching at a school try and get a bit closer for you in the 1970s my dad did a spot of he was a scientist that was his degree um and he worked in forensics for quite a while before he went and worked um for bt <laughs> but uh, he taught science in the 1970s and they were in the process at the school he was teaching at of replacing these old style scales with more modern versions and all of these were being thrown out so he rescued a set I'm really glad he did because it's such a, a lovely thing and ever since Dan and I have been married I've had this sitting on top of the wardrobe in our bedroom in our old house and now in our new house but it's time to find a new home for it because 
our wardrobes that we're getting built are going to be floor to ceiling so it cannot sit on top of the wardrobe anymore i'm not sure if it fits in with my living room or not but that is where it's going to live for the time being to keep them safe i'll show you closely because there's a couple of other interesting things in here so this there's the uh the makers and the top the front slides up let me put the camera down to do this so the front slides up like this to reveal the scales inside and the scales actually do you can pull them all the way out um they do come out but i'm not going to at, at the moment i'm sure we once had the weights for it as well but they're not in here so i don't know if i maybe move them somewhere else for safekeeping i'm not I'm not sure, but I'm sure we used to have the weights. And then you put your, when you're weighing things, you pop them in one side and the uh, the scale is here. I'm not fully sure how they work, but they're really, really interesting and they're nice to look at. And then there's also in here, and I'm not sure why, a very, very old um, elastoplast um, tin, but there are no uh, plasters inside. Instead, take them out, there is a half a crown, there you go, that's half a crown, and there's also a couple of sixpences, there we go, which is really nice, so they stay in this little tin, in with the scales. So let's find it a new home in the living room temporarily. Or who knows maybe permanently so that they can stay out of harm's way whilst all the building work is going on we have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves you said whichever you feel like doing first i said well i don't know about that because it's my lazy day just want to bedroom and the girls well the girls have been helping to start to strip the wallpaper we, we're not doing it with um, water or steam just yet with because a lot of the wallpaper is just coming off on its own although Lilia's now lying on the floor I think she's feeling a bit hormonal as am I and I have cramps as well so um Dan's just volunteered to cook the dinner tonight which is brilliant so I'm going to tell you what the song of the day is and finish off and go and finish editing, to editing this nice and early. So I chose it I today. I go and have an early night. Yes. I chose this today as we were doing the wallpaper because I think it fits quite well as we're doing like doing decorating and yeah. DIY. I I chose Right Said Fred by Bernie Crippins. Cribbins. So, Cribbins. Right Said Fred, go together, move on. On each end and steady as you go. Tried to lift it, couldn't even lift it. We was getting nowhere, and so we had a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, they're trying in the song. They're basically moving a piano. So that is a very silly song of the day. Um, my free trial with Spotify Premium has run out, and I think Spotify has started adding songs to my playlist. And I don't know what to do about that. It's a bit annoying. But the songs they're adding are actually really good. Mummy, <laughs> but I'm going to add Right Said Mummy, Fred to that playlist. Stop, stop. And I'll... Look. Oh, hang on. Big bit of wallpaper coming off. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> and on that very satisfying note, it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely, relaxing evening. Bye-bye. Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>